Hello, my name is BC Ezer Rioja. I'm the owner and founder of BC Motor Engineering here in Ontario, California. Engineer by trade, just love bringing wonderful creations that are automotive in nature to the masses. And behind me are two great examples of kind of the crazy things I tend to build, where I tend to celebrate the past while using modern technology to make them even more exciting. Speaking of exciting, right here is a Porsche 935 M16 Tribute vehicle. And you can see from the rear how it really encompasses that beauty and panache of Group 5 racing from the 70s and 80s. of power it's like a 920 horsepower setup running on ethanol is just a blast and fun to drive however because it's still petrol based I as a builder and engineer always had that slight guilt guilt in what I was using to propel this car and what hydrocarbons were emanating from the tailpipe so that led me to explore something very exciting which is electrification and behold, the Bissimoto K3V. This is a Porsche 935 Kremer 3 using original modes from a Kremer K3 race car. Same group five type of environment. The original chassis was a 1984-911 and we meticulously grafted this body kit to this chassis. But what's even more interesting is in the mid rear of this chassis is an integrated motor transaxle and inverter for 636 electrified horses. We merged the beauty of classic race cars with modern technology that's electrified in nature. And when you hear the term so electrified, this really encompasses it because not only as a zero emissions tailpipe vehicle does this allow me to have it legal here in California, it is a blasted drive with more than 700 pound foot of torque at one RPM. Yes, at one RPM. And what that does from a performance perspective, it creates an environment where this 600 horsepower vehicle is much quicker than 900 horsepower petrol one. But it doesn't stop there. There's a recent creation I have that I'm very proud of, and I'd love to share that with you in a quick moment. Alas, the new creation I have here at Bissimoto is a 356 Porsche that came in making a whopping 42 horsepower, but now, no longer. It makes 298 horsepower with a ton of torque very similar to horsepower figures. And as you look in the rear, what you expect to see is maybe a flat four petrol setup, but no, you see a contactor box <laughs> BMS, an onboard charger, a PDM, an electric motor with batteries right underneath. And same with the front. One thing that makes this vehicle extremely unique is the fact that when you look into the compartment where the driver sits, it looks factory. These analog style gauges do tend to give the driver any information that's pertinent to what's going on in the vehicle. And at first glance, it looks analog and factory, but if you pay attention above and beyond the 160 mile per hour speedometer, the RPM or the tachometer doesn't stop at 8,000, it goes to 18,002. Yes, the red line for this electric motor is 18,200. And then we also have a battery set up as well to show the state of charge and battery temperature right underneath. So. The driver is constantly informed on what's going on. And as you sit in the car, it just reminds you of things of the past. It kind of makes you think that you're still in the 50s and 60s because everything just looks absolutely beautiful and factory. Now, with anything modern, you tend to have to be aware of some of the nuances that may exist in the system. So there is a drop down AEM dash here, which allows the driver to also, if need be, see more important or print information around um, state of charge figures, around torque, um, any errors that may occur. 
um, individual battery cell capabilities and so on and so forth and information. And Jonathan, did you take the key? He did the key. Jonathan. Okay, right, thanks. Yeah, that's you it. Could just fake it. See, you don't hear anything at all. Yeah, you don't even hear the keys. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right. So when I turn the ignition on, um, you have the opportunity to see a nice dance of the gauge cluster, which is pretty cool. I'm um, just showing that everything is proper. And you can also see the AM dash has some print information, everything from power output to battery temp to throttle position and high voltage to voltage as well. And even the odometer meters just show how many miles are on there. But I tend to tuck this away because, you know, we want to be able to bask in everything that's original and classic. And to select the gear, all I do is press on the brake, just like you would with any sequential shifter, because <laughs> we kind of turn this factory shifter into something more sequential in nature. You pull back and it goes into drive, you push forward and it goes into reverse. It's really that simple. What's really interesting is in the enthusiast community, there seems to be some pushback on electric vehicles or conversions of this sort. Um, it's a small crowd, but a very vocal one indeed that thinks that this is sacrilege to do that to anything Porsche, let alone a 356. But what's interesting to know is that we're actually making these vehicles even more appealing. We are keeping them on the road. We have an opportunity where you can make a lot of power with zero emissions. Um, charging infrastructure has been more robust now than ever. This has the capability of a standard J1772 plug-in for your home, um, which can allow you, if fully depleted, with this 16 kilowatt hour power pack, um, about a six hour charge to completely charge it from depletion. Or if you're fast charging, using the Chatmo setup that's on the car, 15 minutes, you can go from zero to 100%, which is nice. But the cool thing is that we're able to keep classic cars on the road without having to worry about it starting up difficultly in the morning or when it's cold or warm. It doesn't leak anymore. We don't have any issues with carburetors, head gaskets, you name it. It's really a win-win where we can have clean, powerful fun and still celebrate the beauty of classic cars. If you need any more information, we are on Instagram as BCMoto, B-I-S-I-M-O-T-O. In the meantime, stay safe and the best is yet to come.